So, tell us about yourself. Are you uh, Spider Comics, the creator? And uh, that's actually right. I'm, I'm uh, co-creator of Spider, Spider Comics with uh, Michael Johnston, okay. who's not here right now. Right, right. Uh, but uh, what we're doing right now is uh, this is Army of None that we're promoting at the show today. Uh -huh. um, it's an audiographic novel. Um, it's a, it's kind of like a, an audio book with pictures. We fade in and out of still images. Yeah. Um, it's not like a motion comic okay. or, a, or a flash animated. Right, right. Uh, we stick pretty close to, to just still images fading mm -hmm. in and out and they support the story that's being told in an audio format. Okay. So we're going to have voice acting, we're going to have uh, uh, sound effects. Uh, we're gonna have narrators, you know, that kind of thing. Very uh, and, multimedia experience, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're offering the content for free okay. on uh, SplatterComics.com. Okay. And um, that's pretty much it. We yeah. got a couple of T-shirts and some uh, promotional material, and cool, cool. just happy to be a part of the con. What's the inspiration for Army of None? Um, I saw a bumper sticker. I, I saw a bumper sticker one day when I was driving home from work. It was an old uh, advertising campaign for the army. Oh really? And, uh, and the army had an advertising cam campaign that was an army of one. Yeah. And uh, I saw a bumper sticker that said "Army of One" on it. And I immediately thought "Army of None," yeah. as in no people. Yeah. And then I thought "Army of None," as in a nun. Yeah. And I'm like, why would a nun need to go to? You know, yeah. why would she need to do that? And so I yeah. started coming 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 up with ideas. Yeah. I, I went on Google and searched my ideas, and I actually found some real life situations that are happening in the world today. Yeah. That that really closely parallel what I have going on in the store. Oh, really? Yeah. So have you actually uh, had uh, any contact with um, similar uh, types of uh, individuals or no? Uh, what do you mean? Like, did you consult any? Uh, <laughs> um, I, I have friends that have been in the military. Uh -huh. I, I consult them about like uh, kind of that mm -hmm. uh, end of the stuff. Yeah. Um, I've got a little bit of experience with like the, the church and that sure. kind of thing, but yeah. nothing too extensive. Okay. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's all just, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, Google's a great thing, right? You right, can right, right. Much find out anything about right, anything right. if you really want to check it yeah. out. So with tablets like the uh, iPad and the Kindle, you guys are, are you guys just strictly, is that your main thing, uh, digital format? Yeah, we're going to go for a, like a, a digital immersive experience. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, if we build a, a, a fan base, we're going to get into uh, doing print comics to support the stuff. Okay. Obviously, offering prints yeah. uh, for sale and T-shirts. Yeah. So we're kind of trying. We're, we're offering the content for free. Yeah. And then we're trying to to to, to have support uh, mm -hmm. merchandising. Okay. So that's that's kind of our business plan or model okay. or whatever. So what got you into the world of comics? Did you all I was like storytelling or? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, I've been in comics since I was a kid. Man. Yeah. You know, I just always loved it. I used to draw. I've drawn traditional comics for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, I just, you know, I kind of got burnt out on it. Right, right. So I quit doing it for a really long time, mm -hmm. and I came up with this idea to, to kind of do it a new and different way, and it gave me a whole lot of inspiration. That, to, to take another run at it. Cool, cool. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about movies. Any kind of uh, series that you want to see uh, put on the silver screen? Um, I'd love to, I'd love to, you mean comic book series? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm really liking The Walking Dead right now. Okay. Because I was a fan of the comic before that came okay. out. Um, I, I this doesn't really count as a comic book, but an old classic novel that I'd love to see converted is uh, Ender's Game. Okay. I think that would be an awesome movie. I know, there's I know a lot of fans out there for that I know one. they're trying to work on that, but yeah. uh, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, I'm hoping yeah, yeah. they figure that out. Yeah. And uh, as far as comic goes, you know, there's a lot of, like, I think that's one of the really cool things about the internet right now yeah. and how a lot of web comics mm -hmm. are coming into fruition is you start to see this diverse range of ideas. Yeah. You know, I mean, these great ideas can come from almost anywhere and they're not being... They're not yeah. being like strangleholded by an yeah. editing department and, and a bunch of uh, people that are in positions of publishing that are right. saying this idea won't work. Yeah. You know, well, like who knows what's going to work? Let's yeah. find out. Yeah. You know? So I don't know if you entertained the idea, but if you had to pick someone to, to play um, the nun, who would it be um, to portray that? Uh, let's see. If anybody comes to mind, mm. Sarah Pauly. Okay. Yeah, Sarah Pauly. She would, I think she would be awesome at it. Cool, cool. And uh, also, maybe if she was a little bit older, but uh, the the little girl that was in Contact. Contact. Okay. I, I mean, she's done some some 
like she did uh, the Dangerous Lives of Choir Boys. Oh, okay. And uh, she did uh, Life as a House. She was in that. Okay. I can't remember her name right now, but but she's just the cutest thing. And I'm yeah. sure if she was a little bit older, she'd yeah. make a great nun too. Cool. Thanks a lot for your time. All right, you bet.